and welcome to another YouTube video. Hey everybody, Foxlum here, and today I'm going to be working on this 2005 Toyota Sienna XLE Limited. As you can see, it's the XLE Limited. I'm pretty sure it's the top of the line model with the leather seats and very clean interior. So today um, I have a project of removing the fender. I'm going to be showing how to remove the fender and yeah. So here's a quick look at the engine. Very few, variable uh, valve timing V6, 3.3 liter V6. And so here's kind of just a, it's a good looking van. I love these Toyota Siennas. Um, the engines are a little bit hard to work on, but otherwise they're pretty good. So this is where the jack is. You just remove this panel and the jack comes out. And so the way to jack them up, you get the jack and you line it up with those two notches and this goes up there and then you jack up your vehicle to change your tire. Put a link in the description of a YouTube video I watched on how it explains how to jack up your Toyota Sienna correctly with the stock jack and get the replacement tire, uh, spare tire. I'll put that video in the description. So I'll also put it on the screen right now. But anyways, when always when you're working outside, such as myself, I don't have a garage, so I have to work out here in the dirt, put something underneath so you don't have it on the just loose dirt because it could slip. Then what you want to do is just slowly raise up your jack until you see that wheel off the ground. I always uh, pre-loosen the lug nuts before lifting up the vehicle because on rear wheel drive cars, sometimes the front wheel will just spin while you're taking those off and it's hard to take off. For instance, this is a all wheel drive car. So uh, um, so the wheel won't spin while it's in park, but I still pre-loosen it anyways. As you can see, I took the wheel off for easier access uh, for under the wheel well. Also, for extra safety, always put an extra jack or jack stands when jacking up your car in case that one ever gives out or it slips. You have something else to catch the car when you're working on it. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the bolts you need to take off to get this fender off. So first, you should take this trim piece off because there's a bolt that's right here that you take off. Then, as I said before, take off this bolt right there. After you do that, make sure you have all the bolts up here taken off. And then there's a hidden bolt under this rubber piece that's right there. After that, undo the sheathing so you can take this off. And then there's this little stupid plastic piece right here. Careful, Be extremely careful with it because it breaks easily. After you do that, you have to go behind here. And then there's a bolt where the support is right behind there. And there's also another bolt on another support right here. It's right, bolts up right here, back there. And what you have to do is get your 10 millimeter. I found the easiest. Uh, I found this the easiest because I can't, I couldn't get my small ratchet back there. So take this spanner and just wrench that off and you get those bolts out. Also, there's a bolt under here that you have to take off and then the fender will come up. Something super helpful is to have one of these extender magnets that just extend like this. You just pull them out. There, you can buy them cheap online or in a store. And I dropped a bolt way down there. So let's see if I can get it. Look at that. So yeah, always have one of these because they're extremely helpful. So besides, so as you can see outside view off the fender, and you're looking at it this way, you're wrenching them off. There's also one more tricky one that's on the bumper. So there's actually four bolts here in total that I have to take off uh, plus the these things. So just be mindful of that. This one was already broken, and then this one also was broken already. So yeah, 
uh, from the collision. So just make sure to not break these. And then this is what it looks like without the fender. As you can see, it kind of moved the bumper a little bit, but we can just snap that back into place. Make sure to keep track of all the little plastic pieces like that. And this little rubber piece and we got the fender. So it's a little bit later, but I got the fender back on and the bumper straightened out. And so what I did is I, I have special bodywork tools and I pounded all the dents out and then I uh, painted it so it wouldn't rust. Um, so got all the sheathing back underneath. Um, as you can see, we had to zip tie the, all this together because they also hit a deer a while ago and that all broke. So we had to zip tie all this because this was all wonky and everything, but got it all together. So yeah, so there's, this is the end of the video. There's how you take off your fender off your Toyota Sienna. I hope this was helpful. Uh, this is a 2005 Toyota Sienna. And in the next video, see you then. Bye. Alrighty, so I'm back a little bit later. Um, so I put the fender back on. As you can see, I it was off and I uh, I did it with, or I fixed it with my special, um, what are they?